Scrum to Munster with time up on the clock. Welcome to another one. Welcome to the final uh, URC review for 2023. So this this is the last one for this year. Um, it's for the final that took place between the Stormers and Manchester here in the Cape Town. Here in Cape Town, um, it's it's a grand final, um, guys. It was beautiful. Uh, the arena was packed. Cape Town Stadium, the show, sold out really. Um, uh, the uh, the vibe was good. I could see from the TV. I watched from the TV. Uh, couldn't go to the stadium. Uh, it was good. It was beautiful, actually. Long time I since it's been a long time since I've seen um, the DHL that that full actually. Yeah, been to many many games there. It was never that full. So the final really lived up to my expectations. It was beautiful actually to experience this, to see so many fans in the stadium. Uh, expectations were that the Stormers were going to win. So I wanted to see. Um, I know that uh, I, I thought Mans were going to put a resistance, but I, I really thought that the Stormers were going to have a plan to really, you know, bring something good to the game and I'll think a monster. So both teams are their key players back from injuries. Uh Achis Neymar was back and Conor Murray for for Manchester. And uh Stomas had John Fowey and Marvin Ori back from their respective from their injuries. So really it had to be a good one. It had to be a good one. Um So the visiting team are the ones that started really well here guys. Uh they really did well here, Manchester started very well. Um, showing some fluidity in the attack. Um, the passes were sticking. Um, they were really coming at at at, at the stomachs and 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 they would liked they really move liked moving the ball to the wide areas, the wide channels there, close to the touch line, and because they would find a lot of space there. So I think they took this this idea from well, they didn't take the idea, but they saw the idea maybe from Exeter Chiefs, because when the stomachs played the Chiefs, the same thing happened. They were exposed in the wide channels there and they would find a lot of space that the Chiefs to exploit so the monster went the same route they really attacked them in the middle areas and then they would spread the ball quickly to the wide areas and then be brave enough to really make those attacking runs there Alvin Nash Marie for Crowley and away Thanks. by Frisch, it's a beautiful ball. And this is John Hovnett. To Munster, well over 100 caps there, and a few for Ireland as well, five in total. And here is Fekatoa. Fekatoa. Murray has a quick rack ball out the back from Coombs and Crowley through the hands of Frisch. And in one of the attacking spells, the ball gets got intercepted though by, by Libok. Um, who went on to score a try for the Stomachs, the first try for the Stomachs. Three or four carries from the hooker already in the game. Frisch trying to get his ball away and the interception is there. It's the hero of Cape Town. So even, even during this, this spell when the, when the ball got intercepted, they were trying to really shift it to the wide areas to exploit the Stomachs there, but then this time Lipok read it and then he got the ball and went to score. Stomach's defense was very aggressive, coming out nicely. Uh, but 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 they got exposed on the outside fringes, as I said. A monster found a lot of spaces on the outside there and, 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 and really exposed them, made them to really be on the back foot when they were in found themselves in those areas, monster. Uh, in one of the open plays again for Manchester because it was all them now in the opening phase of this game they got a penalty and uh, 
uh, number 10 Jack Crowley kicked it deep to Stomas and uh, 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 territory and they managed to get a line out five meters out from the Stomas try line and then they launched them all there and they went to score them all uh, an immediate momentum forward for Munster over the line and try beautiful score from them Munster uh, say typical of them because out of the Irish sides they are the ones who really like using set piece malls to score or to go about playing their game overall the Stormers tried also to build some play but they really were getting starved here by uh, the Munster team because the position was Munster throughout almost the whole half actually um, so when the Stormers were building something there was a case where they were building something nicely but then number 9 Hesho Yanchis Gave a ball away. Dweba to the front for Van Heerden. Out the back from Dion Ferry. Dweba and Ruas. Excellent tackle from Hodnett. Yeah, boy. Stayed I... true to his task. The hoist from Yankees. It's a poor box kick there. And the box kick landed inside uh, uh, Munster's 22 and was fielded easily. And then they called the Mark Munster. So really, you're building something nicely here. And then you just kicked the ball away. With no intentions, no chasers to put pressure on the receiver from the Mansa team. So it's just he received the ball so easily. In his radius of like in his bubble, there was no one to make it to, to chase him down or to prevent him from making the mark or doing anything. So there's no pressure applied. Doesn't really there's no intention from this kick for Michael Yanchis. Giving away position there very cheaply. And um on the other on the other side, Conor Murray was kicking very well. Um, his kicks were superior. He was superb. This guy, um, he really showed his pedigree in this game. All his kicks were causing confusion in the Stormers team when they were defending these kicks. It was difficult. They would land awkwardly, or they, when the guy catches the ball from the Stormers, there was already going to be someone chasing him there. Kicked very well. Technically, he's very gifted, Conor Murray. Um, the good box, a good, uh, so in, t in general, a good, a good box kick up and under from a nine usually takes about five seconds on average in the air. From that five seconds, you're getting about, I'll say, about 16 17 meters in the range. So, really, this guy was doing that here. He was kicking very well, as you can see in the clips that I'm going to show that his box kick was superior compared to Yashar Yanchi's box kicks. For a direct clearance here, for five. Connor Murray, and it's Daly this time who gets the opportunity to chase a kick. Murray. And Willemse in position to take the pass. Heschel did have, I think, one or two kicks that were good, but his kicking was very not good on the night. He was kicking poorly, Kesha Yanchis. The Julie comes from Yankees. This time coming down just... Uh, one, of the reasons, one of the reasons why uh, Munster was so dominant because of the kicking from Conor Mare. He really did well here, kicking. Well, these kicks were very well measured from him. Um, by 20 minutes, uh, the stats came up and they showed number of tackles from the respective teams made by the teams and, and Stormers had made about 47 tackles to Munster's only 8 tackles. So this shows you that really uh, Munster were dominant here. They were just, they were causing rampant um, um, uh, through, through that Stormers defense. Um, Heschel Yanchi's kicking mistakes continue again as he fails to execute. It's a clearance kick that he's making from the base of a scrum here. I think that inside the 22, uh, he fails to, to clear the ball. Um, and then when he's clearing, the ball lands just inside their half, Stormer's half. And it gets it's a counter now that's made by these guys, by Munster. And they go on to score a try to mark highly. Bye. Yankees, Andrea Piardi says yes. And Yankees makes his clearance kick. Brilliantly done by Maoli. Flat across the face, but on the bounce for Peter Omani with Haley to his left. And Mike Haley. 
but uh, upon review this try is really disallowed because there's some illegalities when they check but it's a beautiful try and it exposes that the inaccuracies from Mesha Yanchi is really for me is kicking um, the ball retention for Munster was superior uh, on the, uh, during this time on, on, uh, on the first half especially in the first half it was superior the attacking spells were so smooth uh, they were gelling so well uh, good handling supporting bodies when the player is the ball the carrier has options either he passes in his sh shoulder or he passes flat you know when there are too many options from the attacking team it causes the defending team to really be confused to catch to always be under pressure because you don't know what, what's going to happen you're tackling but your tackles are not clean so you're tackling they get a meter or two because your tackling is very you're not tackling a one-off runner you know we're tackling people who are gonna who can pass flat or pass deep not deep but just behind his shoulder regain possession restore a bit of momentum burn and crowley more with here from monster so it was beautiful to watch actually beautiful uh, this retention just nice on the eyes uh, uh, and this one of these plays one of these spells leads to a try from Calvin Nash so they, they really do these spells these phases inside in the mid areas uh, they, they compress the stomach's defense and then once the stomach's defense is compressed they kick an up and under that goes I think diagonally which is someone Kevin Nash on the corner there, close to the touchline, then he scores the try there. Murray. Strong hey. yet again from Gavin Coombs. Half break from Connor Murray. Archer. Crowley looking for the cross kick here. Oh, and it's bounced beautifully for Munster. So really, Puts the stomachs on the back foot in the under pressure immensely. Not allowed to recover the stomachs really. This, this domination from Manchester here in the first half really causing problems. And when the stomachs have the ball, they don't offer any variations in their attack. Some of their set piece moves are very basic and uh, easy to read for Manchester. From a slam, you just know who's gonna get the ball. Go and tackle, they get a turnover. Balls get turned over easily by. Ah, uh, yeah. Away by Yankees of a solid base, and, and again there's a knock on in the tackle. And when they have the ball, also there was a time when they had the ball inside the Monsters 22 to score, building something nicely, but then they failed to uh, to clean. The ball got turned over by Monster. Uh, you see, Summers. Now Daimani. Yeah, there are many issues here. By this time, the ball, the game went to half time, and Summers had uh, seven points, and Munster were were twelve points. So it was just Munster domination in the first half, guys. Uh, the f domination, domination, technicalities were very good for Munster. You know, they were very technically basics, doing the right things. You know, these guys, fewer mistakes from the Summers. Protection, cleaning the rocks. You know they were doing very well, actually. Monster, Konamari was instrumental for them. So when the second half comes in, the Stormers opened with a kick. They got a penalty to kick, but number ten failed to convert Lipok. So three points gone down the bin there, but down 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 the drain. Failed to convert really. Stormers tried to get grips on the game in the second half using a mall uh, close to. Uh, Thailand of Munster. Uh, so the first attempt of the mall, they didn't score, but they were playing advantage. So they went again for another mall attempt, and then they scored this time to Dion Fori. Erkes Neyman pulled out of his defensive position. Gavin Coombs creeping up the side there. The Storm is trying to manipulate and try. Dion Fori. So now the score becomes Thomas 14 and Munster 12. And then after this score now the game becomes, it gets very hanged, you know. It gets on the edge, very balanced actually. Uh, the Stormers are the ones who have the ball most of the times now. They are having a go at them. Um, they are taking them. They are quick, getting quick ball now from Paul Devet. 
was the number nine who's coming for a show and chase. Um, so but still they are not forming they are not really causing many problems for monster because the defense it's easy just tackling they're just tackling them there's no manipulation trying to manipulate the defense of monster to open up you know yeah there's energy though from the stomachs they are trying you know with the home team trying to chase to to retain this and score more but monster were defending courageously they stayed i think that's when they managed to stay in the game they stayed in the game though that defense allowed them to really build some confidence to believe that they could they could win this game uh yeah so Willemsa. wonderful work the offload for evan ruiz lost his footing at the critical Take moment off. no hands no rough ball it's still momentum for the stormers for sure from a standing start though out the back from Nabok, Duplessis and Nell. To the short side goes Nabok. Finds Zass. And through goes Leal and Zass with Engelbrecht. Wonderful tackle from Healy. Now Nabok. Ruiz pops it inside for Dixon. Then back for Devet. Away, drive away. After all these attempts, while the game is on the edge, the Stormers are the ones who blinked first, and they made a one mistake from Libo kicking mistake, and this and it gave the position back to Munster inside the close 22 of the Stormers, and they built few phases from after that to walk, go on and score the final nail of the coffin, a final try uh, through John uh, Hotnet. It's hot net, I think. And the score becomes Stormers 14 and Monster 9, 19. Bok has a long way to go back. Well, charged down by Coombs. And now all of a sudden from Duplessis. And here come Monster. Over the top, they go and inside. It's a brilliant score. Yeah, now you know the game is finished now because we are, we are in the 70s now in terms of the minutes. Uh, Stormers had a chance to score from a mall close to the try line, but the mall was neutralized. <laughs> Story of the evening. Anything they tried that's physical, they were neutralized. Yeah, Monster had a plan. Neutralized the scrums also. Monster did very well here. Plan worked for Monster. The plan worked very well. The plan worked. And uh, after this small defense, ball gets turned over. The game ends. Stormers 14, Monster 19. Congrats to Monster. Uh, they did, did very well here. Yeah, congrats. Congrats to Monster. Congrats, guys. Yeah, congrats. Eh? This is very good, guys. Yeah, congrats to Monster. Congrats to them. Congrats. Uh, they did very well here, Monster. Uh, Happy guys, cheers. This is a nice. I think you guys like to win this in Ireland. It's called a, it's a Guinness. So yeah, yeah. Okay, I will have it later. So, uh, monster were courageous here, and uh, in defense they were courageous also. Uh, um, Missed only six tackles in the second half to Stormers 28 tackles that we missed. Uh, yeah, uh, the monster pack, the monster pack did very well here. Um, as I said, they managed to match the Stormers physically, and uh, the malls were neutralized uh, from the Stormers and the scrums. Also, they managed to deal with the scrums to hold on. They, they were not didn't give any penalty in the scrums. Uh, I must say, Conor Maori was very instrumental in this game for Monster. He showed his experience, his technical technical abilities also, his his box kicks were just so excellent from from Konamari. Excellent box kicks. Textbook style, you know, if you want to learn box kicks. Five seconds. Thumb rule. Five seconds. Give it five seconds on the air. A range of about 16, 15 meters. You're good to go. Allowing the guys to chase. Mm -hmm. Not three seconds. No. Five seconds. Box kick. Combs was good also for Manchester number 8. 
he carried it really well. They were instrumental in mold defense, you know, and also in attacking ball carriers and stuff. Paul DeWitt for Paul DeWitt for stammers, and uh, it was good when he came in. He spoke, his uh, his his ball service was brilliant. Quick ball allowed the team to really do well. Joseph Chaba was also very physical for stammers. He was physical. He played well actually. His carries were good. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna say more about Joseph Chaba. I won't say a lot about Joseph Chaba because wow. <laughs> uh, stammers need. I think they need to improve in their defense structures. They need to improve in the defense structures, get better in the defense. You, sorry, they need to improve in their attacking structures. Stammers, the attacking structures need to be very. They need to improve the. You know, you need to be able to manipulate defenses when you're playing, especially when you're playing away. You need to have strategies to manipulate defenses, to find ways to crack defenses open. You know, don't be so easy to read when you defend when you're attacking other teams. Congrats to Manchester. Uh, congrats to them. Congrats, 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 guys. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Enjoy your evening. Thank you.